Hello. Kia ora. Kia ora. I'm Erica from the Wood is Good program. Today we're here in beautiful Christchurch, uh, Canterbury, that's in the South Island of New Zealand. And we're going to be looking at some sawmills. Have you ever been to a sawmill in New Zealand or seen what a sawmill does? Do you know what a sawmill is? A sawmill is a factory that uses giant saws to cut up logs for wood. And the wood is used to build houses, to make packaging and crates. And these are some of the things we're going to go and look at today. Got Sam here and we're going to find out a little bit about what they make at their sawmill, what sort of timbers they use and uh, have a guess what it's made out of. So from the start Erica we take the round logs come from the forest and we take the bark off them and then we use those big saws to, to cut them, take the round logs into square timbers you see here. We make framing timber for the houses, uh, we make decking timber, we make fencing timber, we make posts and we make the palings and anything around your house that's made out of timber, yeah, especially radiator pine. We have 10 truck and trailer loads of logs a day. Everything that comes in here in the log, uh, we use Erica, we use the, the centre of the log for the timber, we use the bark for garden products in your garden, we use the chip, goes to the MDF factory at Daikin to make chipboard, and our sawdust um, from the big saws goes to our boiler to make energy to help dry the timber to make the finished product. Here we are at Daikin, New Zealand, and we're going to figure out how they make their MDF out of wood chips. And all their wood chips are made from pine. MDF stands for medium density fibreboard, so it's just a, a composite of wood fibres uh, with a bit of glue compressed to make uh, a hard type of uh, board. Most times you'll see it um, in your kitchen, so most of the kitchen cabinetry is made out of that, um, at your bathroom, um, and in some cases uh, the flooring um, in your house. We're at uh, VIP Frames and Trusses in Christchurch, and we've been looking at how they build all the framing for houses. Um, maybe your house is made with some framing that's come from here. Uh, we've got Chanel and he's going to tell us how many houses a day would you make just here? Around 10 to 12 houses per day. First we pre-cut them and then we use a nail gun and I nail them together like a big jigsaw puzzle. So at Lowburn Sawmill, where we are in North Canterbury, they saw things a little bit differently here. Often they will touch every single log as it goes through the sawmill. I'm fourth generation in sawmilling and we've got about eight guys and girls that work here. Uh, on average we've probably cut three truck and trailer loads of logs per week. Species ranging from macrocarpa, larch, oregon and pine. We cut timber for fencing, decks, landscaping, yeah, beams for houses. We get logs as far as Nelson. Love pine, yeah, love cutting pine. Here at SRS we take logs and our sawmill cuts them up and then we turn them into pallets. We turn them into bins, onion bins, apple bins um, and we even make big cable drums that carry electric cable. Every day we've got around 23 to 25 log trucks visiting us. We've got some pallets here uh, that Nick's made at SRS and these are going to have onions put on them. So where are these pallets going to go, Nick? These pallets are going down to Tamuka, to the pack house down there, to all, all of the onions in South Canterbury. Do you ever cry when you cut up onions? I do, yeah. It's scary. Yeah. So these are some of the things we've seen today that have been made at the sawmills. Every sawmill we've been to has made different stuff. So some of them have made these wooden crates, some of them have made framing for your house, some wood chips, we've got sawdust, we've got MDF, this is all things that have come from our sawmills and have all grown from the humble pine tree. This video has been made with members from the Canterbury West Coast Wood Council and with funding from MPI. Uh, thanks very much to all of them and yes, we do love pine.